In this video I'm going to be showing you how to import and use your own skybox texture for Half-Life Alex or Sandbox or any other game in Source 2. So I found this interesting stylized skybox texture by Sabrina Janssen uh, with a quick Google search. Thought it looked interesting so I'm going to be using this one. So while in Source 2 go to tools and click on material editor. I'm going to be clearing everything so it looks like it does when you first open the material editor. Alright, so you go to File, New, and then hit Ctrl and S to save it. Then let's say Sabrina Janssen, I hope that's spelled correctly, uh, underscore skybox. Then you go to shaders up here, scroll up, find sky, double click on sky. Now this material is using the sky shader. So now we have to import the sky texture. So I'm going to be clicking on this icon here. I'm going to be locating uh, the skybox texture, Sabrina Johnson. This error just means that I saved the image as a PNG, but the image is actually a JPEG, so it doesn't know what to do. So I imported the thing as a JPEG. And there's another error, but this makes a lot more sense. <laughs> This image is not the right dimensions for a skybox. So in Photoshop, I'm going to go to image, image size. For this to work, the width of the texture needs to be two times the height of the texture. So let's make the height 1028, uh, 24, sorry. And let's make the width 2048. So it's kind of stretched now. For now, this will do for demonstration purposes. So file, export, as PNG. Let's delete these two uh, because they are obsolete right now. I'm going to save it as Janssen Skybox.png. So now, let's hope it works. Sky texture, let's open. Sabrina Janssen's uh, Skybox. So, it still doesn't work, but the problem is very simple. Let's change the texture format to RGB. Now I have to re-import the sky texture. There we go. It works. So I'm going to save this. Let's uh, go into my map. You have to create one of these entities. And underscore sky and then scroll down and if you scroll down there's a sky material here where you can add your own material so let's find our skybox Sabrina there we go let's double click so so there you have a skybox if you change the lighting of your scene to all lighting you might feel like the skybox and the lighting doesn't really match up. To fix this, you need to create a light environment. A scene should not have more than one light environment. You scroll down to this here, sky. Open it. Find this sky IBL source. You hit this. Then you click on the environment sky. If you haven't named your environment sky, it will ask you to name it, so you can reference it from your light environment entity. So just give it a name that you think suits. I named it env underscore sky. With the light environment selected, hit F1. Search HDR. You'll find this. Estimate lightning from HDR skybox. Hit it. 
Now the lightning of the scene is estimated from the skybox colors and direction. So I hope this helps and um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.